I'm David Marcus with Bianca Bosker, author of the new book, Cork Dork. When we think about wine, we think about two senses, smell and taste. How can we prepare each of those senses to better appreciate what's in the glass? So the first thing is, we're talking about smell. The good news is that all of us have the ability to be super smellers. This is not something that you're born with. It's more like a muscle that you can actually exercise. And we're actually a lot better than we think. Um, so the first thing you can do is really learn to put words on smells. And I had a master perfumer who gave me advice that I should try and describe the smell of everything in the course of a day. So tasting notes for your perfume, tasting notes for your commute to work on the subway. Um, when you're cooking, take that extra moment to like sniff an herb um, before you put it in the pot and say its name in your head because you're never going to smell green olive and Syrah if you can't smell green olive and green olive. And, and that still leaves us with, with what's on the palate. A yeah. lot of what we taste is what we smell, but, but there's still alcohol, sweetness, acidity, yeah. uh, tannin. How can we better appreciate those and the balance among them in wine? Right. Well, and I think the first part is that when we talk about the taste of wine, we're really talking about the flavor, right? And the flavor is, yeah, it's a composite of the taste, the smell, our expectations because of what we paid for it, the music, the color of the room. I mean, terroir here is red, and red has, redness has been shown to uh, actually enhance the sweetness of some beverages. So we're very susceptible. but. We can still do things to make sure that we're savoring really the structure of a wine. These are like the building blocks. It's like the foundation um, of a wine. And so, for example, uh, um, acid, right? If that's one of the key components. You taste acid by how much you salivate. So if you're drooling a ton with the wine, high acid. Alcohol, for me, I taste it, you know, when I take a sip of wine, I sort of breathe out like I'm checking my breath and I feel how far back does it burn. Think about whiskey, right? Like you feel it burning all the way down. Um, tannin, uh, is, people think of it as this, it's that astringency, it's that dry sensation. So not so much a taste, but a feeling. Um, and I think, uh, you know, sweetness, it can be more of a texture sometimes, um, you know, that heavy, weighty feeling that you get in the wine. Bianca, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Of course. Thanks for having me. For The Street, I'm David Marcus.